Have you ever wondered what it looks like at the bottom of the Caspian Sea? Indeed, in the depths of the Caspian, is the land flat or full of roughness? At first glance, we can imagine that the Caspian Sea has a shape similar to a curved rectangle, with a length 3 to 4 times greater than its width. If we calculate the distance from the southernmost to the northernmost place of the Caspian, it is approximately 1030 to 1200 km, which is the length of the Caspian. But, the width of this water basin can be 193 to 435 km. For a better understanding of this long length, which plays a significant role in climate formation, let's assume that we want to travel by airplane from the north to the south of the Caspian Sea. With an airplane at a speed of 800 km per hour, it takes us 1.5 hours to travel the length of the Caspian Sea. This is a very long distance, at least for a lake, an approximate distance from the north of Iran to the south of Iran. With today's technology, if we want to travel the length of the Caspian with a cruise ship, it will take us 2 to 3 days. The question that arises is, how did our ancestors cross this path? By this or this? What do you think? Estimates show that the length of the coastline of this water basin is about 7,000 km, roughly the distance from Rome to New York. Of this amount, approximately 1,900 km belong to Kazakhstan, 1,355 km to Russia, and 820 km to Azerbaijan. Iran and Turkmenistan have about 657 and 1768 km of coastline with the Caspian Sea. The total area of the Caspian Sea is 371,000 square km. To understand the area, we compare it with some areas of some countries to be more tangible. This area is equivalent to the area of Bangladesh and Tajikistan. More than three times the area of Switzerland. The calculation shows that the volume of this area is 78,200 cubic kilometer. It means that the volume of the Caspian Sea is 4 times bigger than Huron Lake in the United States and Canada or 35 times bigger than Great Bear Lake in Canada. To determine the level of the Caspian Sea, we need a reference like the Greenwich clock, which other clocks are compared to this clock. The mean level of the oceans can be the best case for this. If we define the average level of some open oceans as a defined surface, the Caspian Sea is about 26 to 28 meter below the ocean level. Interestingly, this is the most crucial reason for the disconnection of the Caspian Sea from other open waters. Based on this level, we can define bathymetry and topography. Generally, we determine the elevation of landforms above sea level named topographic maps. For example, the map of a mountain. Bathymetric maps show depths of landforms below sea level. Here we concentrate on the bathymetry as we try to monitor the bottom of the Caspian Sea. Based on this vision, we should remember to use the word height for land and depth for inside the sea. The Caspian Sea can be divided into three parts based on the bathymetry. Northern, middle, and southern parts. The area of the northern part is 80,000 square kilometer when the mean depth is 5 to 6 meter. In this part, the maximum depth is 15 to 20 meter. The northern basin date back to pre-Cambrian times, approximately 541 million years ago. In this era, some critical phenomena occurred, such as the formation of most primitive fossils and oxygen generation in the primitive atmosphere. The bottom of the north has a continental type crustal structure. The bed of the northern part consists of semi-oceanic rock. Also, coarse grain sediments can be found in this part. The area of the middle part is 138,000 square kilometer with a mean depth of 190 meter. There is the Apsheron Sill in the middle part near the Azerbaijan coast. This still separates the middle part and southern part. The bottom is a continental type crustal structure. The bed is made of Hercynian. While fine grained terrigenous material accumulates on the narrow shelf in the west, biogenic carbonate sedimentation can be findable on the eastern shelf. In the southern part, near the Iranian coast, the area is 168,400 square kilometer with a mean depth of 350 meter. The maximum depth of the Caspian Sea has been recorded in this part with a depth of 1,025 meter. The bed of the southern part consists of basalt. Fine-grained material, notably calcareous silts, is deposited on the shelf in this region. 
The Caspian Sea has a complex bathymetry map that shows what a long journey it has traveled in history.